In question number 110, we have to look for the option where zygotic meiosis is present. You know that the zygotic meiosis is present in the life cycle which is haplontic in nature. Now Marchensia, there is presence of haplodiplontic life cycle and it shows sporic meiosis. Same in the case of Funaria, both of them they are bryophytes. If we talk about the fucus, there is presence of diplontic life cycle with gametic meiosis and in the chlamydomonas, haplontic life cycle with zygotic meiosis is present. So the right option for this question is option number 4. In the question number 111, we have to look for the right life cycle pattern in Actocarpus and Fucus. In the case of the Actocarpus, there is presence of haplodiplontic life cycle and in the Fucus, just now I have told you there is presence of diplontic life cycle. So which one is the correct option? Yes, the correct option is option number 3. So this is the right answer here. Now 112. Again, very easy question based upon the NCRT. We have to look for the smallest living cells which are without cell wall. They are pathogenic to both plants and animals and they are facultative anaerob. So these lines are well suited for the mycoplasma, right? Uh, Bacillus, Pseudomonas, Nostoc, they all possess cell wall. Yes, in the cell wall, the one component which is present, that is the peptidoglycan, mycoplasma, that is without cell wall, that's why they can change their shape, they are pleomorphic. So the right option here is option number 3. So let's move on to the question number 113 here. So question number 113, root hairs develop from the region of so this is a very simple question, root hairs developed from the region of differentiation zone. The differentiation zone is also known as maturation zone. So the right option for this question is option number 1. Question 114, again one question is there from pollination. Yes, uh, flowers which have single ovule and are packed into inflorescence are usually pollinated by which of the given below agency. Now, in the case of the wind pollinated plants, pollen grains they are produced in large number. Yes, maximum number of the pollen grains they are produced in wind pollinated plants and in these plants, the number of the ovules which are present in the ovary, they are less. If we talk about the grasses, that is the poaceae family, only single ovule is present in the ovary. Along with that, they have small size flowers which are packed into the inflorescence. So all these features are for anemophily. Yes, that is wind pollination. So the right option for this question is option number three. Right. So now let's move on to the next question here.